Hey there, so you're here to understand more about cohort analysis. Congrats! When I first heard about cohort analysis, I was afraid. It sounded like uh, rocket science for me, but on marketing. However, as time went by, I understood that it's not so much rocket science. It's all about taking into account the data. So let's see how to do this with OmniConvert. Once you're in the dashboard, you go to the cohort analysis under the customer analytics tab. And then you wait a bit, you decide if you want to do cohort analysis for a year or if you want to do it for more than that. So let's start with the monthly cohort analysis for the last 12 months. Over here, we have first order placed in January, February and whatever, or before that period, right? So how to understand cohort analysis? We have two ways. We have the percentage and we have the amount, right? If we look over here in February 2021, we will see the amount of the revenue generated by the newly acquired customers in February and how much of it was being kept, let's say in March, this 22,000 has been generated by customers that were new in February 2021. So mainly the customers that sticked and bought again in March generated 22,000. The same cohort of customers that you acquired in February 2021 generated 15,000 euro in April, yeah? So over here, if we look in April, the newly acquired customers from April generated 500,000 and the ones that have been acquired in March 34, from February 15, from January 21, and from before January 21, 674. If we would be summing up these figures, we'll reach to 1,250,000 euro, which is the total revenue generated in April 2021. And here we can see the new contribution. So 40% of this revenue has been generated by the newly acquired customers. So that's how you can understand the cohorts. If you also check this box, graphic evolution, you'll be seeing which are the most sticky cohorts that you've acquired. And of course, the total revenue that has been generated by these cohorts. This is in particular quite important because as you can see here, this is the total generated by customers who were new before January 2021. And you can also see which is your best cohort from this year. In this particular case, the March 2021 is the best cohort that you acquired. You can do the same thing by looking at the margin, not only at the revenue, you can do it by looking at the number of orders and also by the number of customers. And another thing is that you can check this box to look only at the percentage. So from here onwards, for instance, in April, 6% of the customers in April were new in March 21. See? So mainly that's how they stick around and that's how they buy further. If we scroll down, we have the same thing, but in a graphic way, we can see out of the first purchase moment, how the total number of orders, the customer count and the margin looks. And another important aspect is the second month cohort stickiness rate. So this graph will be able to show us the stickiness rate, which means we have this thing, which is on the immediate month after the first purchase. And we have it distributed over here like a bar chart, right? So in this moment, we'll be in a position to understand how the customers are sticking, which are the months which have the highest uh, stickiness rate. So for instance, in this particular case, in May and in October, where most of the customers uh, stick around and, and bought again, you can do the same thing by looking at the week and by looking at the years as well. Why is this important? Because for instance, if you look at the monthly distribution and you take a longer period of time, let's get two years, we'll be in a position to look at the seasonality. Let's say if you're a CMO or if you're an e-commerce manager or an e-commerce owner and you wonder, are these particular marketing campaigns better than the ones I did before? You can simply scroll down and see the stickiness rate. Let's say in August 2020, you got something like 14%. While in August 2021, this was way less than it uh, used to be. So maybe you acquired more customers, but they haven't stick around like they used to. That's one way to analyze the, the cohorts. Another way is to look at the cohort stickiness itself, right? If your product is not having such a high seasonality, you can look at, okay, why on earth have I got 29% stickiness in February and uh, now I have only, I don't know, let me look over here. 
only 5% or so on. That's how the cohort analysis uh, is working. I know there are a lot of numbers, but they make sense. And if you want to become data-driven, you can check out the cohort analysis from here and then. You can look at the weekly and monthly trend. If you have questions about them, or if you want to level up your e-commerce game, check out our CVO Academy. We have free and paid courses. We even have a certification program so that you can level up your e-commerce game. So that's it from me. Good luck with your cohorts.